Hey everyone, Ryan from eBike Escape, and in this video, we're gonna check out some accessories that you might wanna consider for your Aventin adventure. Before we dig into all of the accessories, if you are looking to purchase an Aventin electric bike, please consider using the link in the description before you make your purchase. It's a free and easy way to help support the channel. Thanks in advance for your support. Of course, I will be linking all of the accessories that we talk about today in a blog post. I will also link our full electric bike accessories list, top e-bike brands page, and finally, our electric bike discounts code page, where I track all the deals on the electric bike brands that I follow. With that, let's check out this event in Adventure fully accessorized. Let's start in the front of the bike. So what we have here is a half knee bar end mirror. Now I actually think the bar end mirrors work a little bit better on the event in Adventure. You could make handlebar mounted ones work, but you do need to keep in mind they're gonna be located a little bit inwards on the handlebars, which makes it harder for visibility. With this mirror, you get more visibility because the mirror is located towards the outside of the handlebars. This is one of the larger mirrors that Half Knee sells. There are a variety of options. I'll be sure to link a few of them. Next, let's talk about an accessory that I haven't featured on the channel recently, and that is a horn. So my dad opted to purchase this horn, and I'll go ahead and hit the horn for you. It is rechargeable and hitting the top button will sound the current horn you have selected or the current sound. It actually is pretty loud in my opinion and you can also cycle through them by hitting the down button here. and you can adjust the sound up and down. We actually have it set on the highest volume and there might be a louder horn, but this in my opinion is pretty good. It's certainly better than putting a bell, which the event in Adventure doesn't come with. Next, let's talk about this adjustable stem made by Venzo. So what an adjustable stem does is it allows you to adjust the height of the handlebars. This one does allow for adjustments between negative 10 and 50 degrees. Now, something to keep in mind with this adjustable stem is you do need to remove the light because a Ventin uses a custom kind of stem that allows the light to sit in between the LCD screen here. So that is one thing to just keep in mind if you buy an adjustable stem, you do need to move the headlight so it's not going to be quite as front and center. Now, of course, one of the main benefits of the adjustable stem is the ability to have a more upright riding position. So I'll have my dad hop on the event and adventure, put the kickstand up. And so that's how he sits on the event and adventure. And you can kind of imagine if that stem was straight, his hands would be more forward and he prefers an upright riding position. So highly recommend this accessory if you're looking to ride in a more upright riding position. All right, next we have actually my favorite cell phone mount. My dad took my advice on this one. What I really like about this cell phone holder is it's very simple, simply connects to the phone in the four corners, no clamping. So if you have a phone that has buttons on it, this cell phone mount isn't going to be an issue. And the nice thing, especially for me, I'm constantly moving my cell phone mounts to different bikes. This one attaches with a simple rubber strap. I personally haven't had any issues with this. We own three of these and you'll see them in all of our our review videos. All right, next up, a very simple accessory. So one of the cool things about the Event in Adventure, even though it has an integrated battery here, they do have bottle cage bosses. Now you could attach a folding lock here if you'd like. My dad opted for a bottle cage and we have a matching Event in water bottle. Not sure if these can be purchased. I actually got these at Sea Otter when I was there last year. So definitely a nice spot to house a water bottle. All right, let's move on to an accessory that I see so many people purchase, and that is a new seat or saddle. My dad opted for this one. This is the Cloud9, and they make a wide variety of seats. Now, I personally think this is probably the most comfortable one they make. I like the neoprene kind of cover here. It's super comfortable. We have one that is very similar to this. 
And in our full electric bike accessories list, I have other seats listed if you wanna consider those as well. Now my recommendation, if you wanted even more comfort, is to put a suspension seat post on here. I really like the SR Suntour NCX. I will put a link to that in our accessories list showing all the accessories on the event and adventure in case you are curious. I think my dad will ride this for a while and see what he thinks and decide at a later date whether he wants to add a suspension seat post. Of course, on the event and adventure, you do have front suspension to increase comfort. Next, we have pedals. These are the red pedals from Hafni, aluminum pedals. It's a great way to customize your electric bike, and these have a larger platform, and they also give you more grip. Of course, with that grip also comes the potential to hit yourself in the shin, in the shin so you wanna be a little bit careful. And the red on this matches pretty closely with the event in. Hopefully that's coming across on the camera. So just pedals in general, a nice way to customize your electric bike. Next we have the rear rack. This is the rear rack that is sold from event in. Pretty standard rear rack, but my dad was able to pair it with this nice rear bag that I actually really like. Now let's dig into some of the accessories in here. Start in the top and First, let's talk about touch-up paint. So my dad was actually able to find this on the Facebook group. So we'll be sure to link this. This is from Hobby Lobby. Looks like it's $1.99. If you're purchasing the red Event and Adventure, perhaps you wanna get some touch-up paint. And next we have the WSD cam alarm that I featured on this channel before. Did a full review on it if you wanna check that out. But I will just say, this is an awesome alarm. He hasn't quite mounted it to the bike and they do sell these in two packs and they also have a bike mount so you can mount it a little bit easier to your electric bike. Though if you use the included mount, it's worth noting that you won't be able to hide this because it'll be in plain sight because I think the mount mounts to the seat post. So one of the nice things is you can just hide this perhaps under your seat, maybe in your bag. I'll go ahead and show you how it works. You get a key fob very similar to one found on the car, and you hit the lock button. It will notify you that the alarm is indeed alarmed, and if I move it, it'll give you a warning. If I keep picking it up, So very loud alarm, I actually had to turn the volume down. So highly recommend this, very cheap way to protect your electric bike. Speaking of protecting your electric bike, let's talk about bike locks. Now what's nice about this bag is it feels nice and secure on this rack that we can put this very heavy duty kryptonite chain lock on here. So this is gonna provide plenty of security. They do have a higher security lock, but this is the one that I recommend most often because it's still pretty affordable and offers very good protection. Of course, if you want to, you can always get a folding lock. Just kind of depends on where you live, but you can't go wrong with a chain lock, especially if you can put it in a bag. And of course, with an electric bike, weight is less of an issue. And I do like having the flexibility of a chain lock versus some of the folding locks. Just going to depend, of course, on the frame geometry of the electric bike that you're locking up. And plenty of room in here for other storage as well. You can see we have a multi-tool as well. So highly recommend this bag if you're looking for some additional storage capacity on your event and adventure. Next, we have a helmet. This is a super popular helmet that I see a lot of people purchase. This is the Thousand Heritage helmet. It's their more affordable model. You can also purchase the Chapter helmet. We did a review on both of them if you wanna learn a little bit more, but the Chapter helmet has a light that mounts to the rear of the helmet, and the Chapter is also a MIPS helmet, whereas this one isn't. It also comes in really cool colors and I think is fairly comfortable. Very comfortable, enjoy it a lot. That's why I selected this one. And with some of the helmets these days, you get the Fidlock attachment, so it clasps to get together magnetically. So those are some of the accessories you might wanna consider for your Aventon adventure. Link in the description if you're purchasing from Aventon. Really appreciate your support. Of course, all the other links to these products will be within the blog post. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.